Alright, a bit of a deconstruction video for you of the AEG 4 amp hour, 12 volt, model number L1240, and the 12 volt 2 amp hour L1220. Twenty-four watt hour, forty-eight watt hour. Pretty simple. Double the size, double the capacity. Let's have a look inside this one first. So in the bottom, you've got three screws that go in there, and there are uh, torques like T5. It's quite a small one. Get them out, and you've got three nice Samsung cells in there. I believe they're Samsung. We'll get them out to confirm. They could be um, LGs. Could maybe be. Careful not to touch any of the contacts when you do that. Pull it straight up and out of the Samsung's. There you have it. And in 650 20Rs. Just like these 4 amp hour Milwaukee packs that I haven't really got to yet and haven't done much with. So that's that. Let's see if it's got any voltage in it. Yep, alright, we're on DC. Ten point four three, so it's uh, no issues. Has voltage it's, uh, on the side of flat. Uh, they uh, they run up to uh, twelve point six charged. So we'll put that on the uh, little IMAX crappy copy charger there, the deconstructed one. All right, that's the uh, two amp hour AG out of the way. I don't know whether I should keep some of these shells or not. I don't really have to. All my gears are walking. But, uh, you never know, that could be useful. Take the four screws out of the bottom case of this one. Same thing, I think they're Torx T10s. And in the bottom you get three INR 18650-20RMs. Samsungs, of course across the bottom and then if you just imagine that there is uh, that on top just like that so uh, let's see if that one will slide out oh there you go look at that perfect that's, that's even better than the small ones. Look at that. Let's just give it a check with the multimeter. That one's got 10.1 in it. So uh, I'm actually not worried about either of them, there should be uh, no real dramas with them. I'll put them on the IMAX and uh, charge them up properly. I think I've got a 3S, so on 4S, I think I've got a 3S balance lead sitting around here somewhere. Um, we'll just connect that up, just connect that properly. I should set one up without looking at clips on it actually for stuff like this. And we've got a 5S there for doing the 18 volters. So yeah, let's uh, just inside one of them. These cells look quite quite good and quite new. As you can see the base plate's not damaged or scuffed up. Like uh, my Milwaukee ones are a lot more marked than that and more used. So 
it says that they've had a good life. They're nice and clean inside, which is probably not a big deal when you in the big scheme of things, but when you're uh, salvaging cells and trying to get the best ones you can, that's, that's a clear bonus. So I'll pull them two packs apart after I've charged them up and uh, run them through the Nokosa charger discharger and uh, we'll go from there. Right on. Time to make a video about the big boy. So look what's inside him. Thanks for watching.